Welcome to this week's Children's Liturgy of the Word on the third Sunday of Easter. Guess what? We have some surprise readers this week. We have Deacon Phil and Charles Stepanek. You may see them when you watch Mass online or when you come to Mass. So watch for them today and let's hear what they have to share with us. But before we begin, let's go ahead and pray together. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, May I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers has glorified his servant, Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the holy and righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins be wiped away. Today's response is, Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, Answer me, O oh my just God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me and I will call upon him. Lord, let your face shine upon us. O oh Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. Lord, let your face shine on us. As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. For you alone, O oh Lord, bring security to my dwelling. Lord, let your face shine on us. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. 
that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. As he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins to all would be preached in his name, to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, this Gospel reading uh, starts off with two guys talking to the apostles in the upper room, and they were the two guys who walked on the road to Emmaus, and Jesus walked along with them, and they didn't know who he was. And then he broke bread, and they were dazzled out of their minds and uh, excited. So um, when I read this, it always reminds me that uh, whenever I'm in any kind of trouble or down, that Jesus is walking with me. And uh, the apostles in the upper room were terrified, and Jesus always comes in the midst and says, Peace, peace be with you. So no matter what the problem, no matter how big it is, or... Uh, no matter how troubling it is, and I've had my share of those things. I remember my faith and that uh, I'm never alone. Jesus is walking with me. And when you got that, you're okay. You're gonna make it through. So just remember that. Peace be with you. God bless you. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Vir Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the, of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Christ walks with us every day and is, through, and, and is with us through the tough times and the good times. May our hearts be open as we listen to Jesus, who teaches us to remember the needs of others. Please respond with, Lord, hear our prayer. May all Christians proclaim their joy and faith in the resurrection of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the good news of Christ, the risen Lord, bring us social justice to all people and all nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all those who are suffering in darkness and despair know the nearness of Christ, and in the scriptures they find light and truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the hearts of those watching be renewed in spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers that we hold in our hearts, for the people that we know and love, we pause and pray. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God. We thank you for all you have created. Hear us, your children who call to you, and grant us your saving grace. We ask this through Christ Jesus, our risen Lord. 
Amen. Thank you for joining us this week. It is our hope that you and your family experience and get to know Jesus a little better each week. Come back next week for more Easter readings because we got five more weeks of Easter to celebrate. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. See you next time. Peace. <laughs>